Okay, back to our governor. Um, I have the governor housing on. I have the cap in place. Uh, I have a new gasket. We sealed that all up. Um, I've put my magneto in place. When I took the wires off the magneto, this one's this one says up, so I know it goes up. And then um, yeah, that should be correct. That should be correct. So I stuck a spark plug here and then I put one here so it's just past TDC so we're going to draw it through and the other uh, to the other side and it should snap that spark plug whoops still should snap it okay I'm gonna snap there that's TDC on this piston yes this piston's going to come up number one and we should get a snap pretty soon yes fire there okay so we're good if we look at our our mark here it says left hand impulse and our mark here you know we just went past it lines up with that um, you don't have to draw it over very far because the magneto winds itself up and then once it gets to TDC it lets itself go and goes it 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 spins inside and trips the impulse and then it or it trips the the little uh, rotor in there and it impulses out to your spark plug so everything's good so far we seem to be okay um, a couple of things about my generator housing the gasket didn't fit uh, quite right I had to cut it a little bit uh, the gasket in my kit was much bigger for this so I had to make my own gasket I made it out of some gasket material just some uh, Felpro just some gasket material I had hanging around um, so we're good there. Uh, one thing you got to remember <clears throat> is there's an oil line that goes up. Get my flashlight. There's an oil line that goes up. Um, I guess you can't see it. Up to the governor to oil everything in there. And. Uh, make sure you attach that because if you don't nothing's going to get oiled up here um, so next um, probably what I'm going to do is work on a carburetor because as I said I got that box and I'm pretty sure that's my float valve for my carburetor and then I need to get some torque values on connecting rods because I don't have those torqued down yet and cylinder head um, nuts and I think I have my gasket on backwards probably do I think the metal side is supposed to face the head I'll have to check online and see while I'm checking online I'll get torque values uh, valve clearance which I think is 20 torque values for the head, torque values for the rods and uh, we're in good shape, we're coming together so there you go